Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to plot a matrix with the matplot function in R. So before we start let's get some data. I've got some basketball data that I have downloaded and copied from the mba.com website and this is the number of field goals scored over a 10 year period by 10 leading basketball players. Um, I've stored this data into a file called 57 underscore data underscore file dot csv. So this uh, comma separated value fi uh, file is available in my GitHub uh, along with all the other data files and R scripts used in this series of video videos. And you'll find a link to my GitHub in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So let me read these data in and display the output of this data. So I've read my file in and I'm storing it uh, uh, as a matrix called Field Goals NBA. And we can see in the output here, we've got a 10 year period from 2005 up to 2014 and 10 very well known basketball players and the number of field goals that each of these guys scored in each of these seasons. So for example, we can see that Kobe Bryant scored 978 points in the 2005 season and so on for all the other players. And I'd like to be able to visualize these, this data using a plot. And I'm going to use the matplot function to do that. Uh, don't forget that with the matplot function, as with all the other functions, you can look at the help tab, type in the function name matplot, as I have done in this case here. And you can see all the different parameters and so on that are used in this function. But we're going to start off um, by, first of all, we're going to be, need to be able to transpose our data here because I want to swap the columns uh, and the rows to get a better uh, fix on the data. So let's first of all see what that looks like. So I'm going to use the T function, open and close brackets, and my variable name, field goals, NBA. So when I transpose that, we can see that we get our data where the players' names are in the columns and the years are in the rows. So this is what I want. I want to be able to visualize and gain some insights about the number of points scored by each player over a year, over the 10 year period. So we're going to need to, in our mathplot function, transpose uh, our data. So we just use the mathplot on its own and type in field goals, NBA. If I type that in and run this, we get a rather meaningless output in the plots area over on the right hand side here. If I zoom in on that, uh, to see a large one, we can see that there is a, you know, a t the 10 year period and the 10 players listed across, across here, but we've no legend, we don't know which is which, uh, and we'd like to see uh, some more detail to gain some insights in here. So we're going to need some to add some parameters to the matplot function. So let me close that down, and <clears throat> I'm going to rewrite my matplot function with some uh, information in it. So let me do this, matplot again, and remember I needed to transpose the, um, the um, uh, data here. So I'm going to have to add this in this time here and another open and close bracket. So be careful with the end, um, brackets here. So I'm going to transpose my field goals NBA data. Okay. Then after the uh, transpose function, put in a comma. And we can see in our in the help for the math plot, there's various different uh, uh, parameters available. So I'm going to need to tell it what type of chart I want. So I want a line chart. So the type is equal to uh, an inverted commas B, type B. You can experiment with different letters and different types here. Do check the help section for what letters are available. I also want to use some different uh, shaped um, um, dots on, on my chart. So I'm going to use four different shapes here. And I use the, uh, this with the PCH, the pitch function is equal to, I'm going to use a range from 15 to 18. So that's four different shapes. It's going to give me uh, some squares, diamonds, uh, triangles, and circle shapes. Um, and then I also want to be able to show what some colors in this as well. So very different for a range of colors. I'm going to be, use the call function for color. Open and close uh, is equal to, using the combine operator, I'm going to use, we have four different shapes. So I want four uh, different parts for colors and the number six to choose the different types of colors that will be have available. So there's quite a lot going on in that uh, function there on that command. We are using the matplot function first and remember we are going to trans we want to transpose so that's why I've added in the transpose function again. 
We've got a different t uh, uh, type B here, which is a line chart. We're going to use, using the pitch parameter, four different shapes. So that's shapes 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we've got the range there. And we're implementing the color because we've got four different shapes. We want to have uh, four different colors on our chart in here. So let's run this and see what it looks like. And you can see we're now getting a line chart on the right hand side. So let's uh, click on the zoom function to get a better look at it. And we can see that this is a much, much better and more informative chart. We've got um, 10 players. So we, we can see here they all start out in, 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 in the uh, different color lines and different, co and different shapes. And we can see that it runs over the 10 year period. Now, what we're missing here, of course, is a legend to just tell you uh, which ones are which here. So in our next video, which is video number 58, we'll learn how to add a legend uh, to make this visualization more meaningful here. But already you can see that some trends are uh, showing up over the 10 year period for each of these 10 players. So we'll close that down. So that's how you um, use the matplot function to plot a matrix in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.